welcome in the last few demonstration we saw how to draw a wooded area essentially you know something like this where we have the background foliage and then we saw how to draw the you know the trunks and branches and other things you know that gives a nice sense of wooded area so we saw you know different techniques in in how to you know draw something like this you know that gives a nice sense of you know wooded area with lots of you know uh, foliage and, uh, and and other branches and twigs uh, in between it what i will do in this demonstration is to essentially show a different way to draw a wooded area and what we will do essentially here is to is to focus focus on uh, uh, defining the foliage for different branches and uh, twigs so essentially you know what we did last time was to essentially you know start by you know having a background of foliage you know something like this right so we essentially do a background of foliage and then on top of the background foliage you know we drew trunks and in the, in the other approach you also saw how you can have a kind of trunk defined first and then you can create you know foliage around it but the, the the main feature of these techniques was that the foliage was not associated with any particular branch as such so essentially what we were doing is you know we are giving an overall impression of foliage so like over here you can see that you have you have an overall impression of foliage and then you have you know branches and trunks and other things but you're not kind of you know really kind of you know associating foliage with a particular branch or or, or a twig so what we will do in this demonstration is to have a different approach where what we will do is to essentially define a uh, small you know trees and then essentially you know draw foliage around those branches and uh, twigs so 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 this is a you know small young tree i drew and what we will do in this demonstration in this technique is to essentially then start by adding foliage with these branches so this is different from the last technique because essentially in the last technique we just had a big background foliage but we didn't really have a kind of you know foliage that you know came out from a particular branch or you know uh, a twig as such so this is you know a different technique where what you do you essentially start by drawing these kind of you know trees and then you know you draw these branches and then what you do is you simply add a foliage at the end of these branches something like one over I'm doing so this is a different technique and what happens is that you know this gives a different feel for a wooded area so essentially now you will have you know foliage and associated with different trees and that gives a nice different feel so this is a simple you know tree i drew uh, and the, and the technique of drawing a tree is very simple you know you draw a tapered line like this and then you essentially you know add a kind of jagged darkness to one end so that's what we will do you know we'll draw this tapered line add a jagged darkness and then you can also you know essentially then use the solid tapered lines something like this to create the branches for the trees that's what i'm doing so i'm simply you know using these tapered solid lines and this is how i create a simple branch structure for a tree and we have seen you know example of this in other demonstrations and what we will do next is to simply then you know add foliage to these branches so essentially what we're now doing in this technique is to essentially draw this kind of you know uh, tree structure with branches and then essentially adding the foliage to individual branches something like this over here and if you want you know you can extend it further so you can have a small side you know branch over here then add foliage as well over here so in this technique you know we are not you know just defining the branch uh, as a background on top of which you know and then we have the have it surrounded by foliage but essentially over here we are you know defining the branch structure for the trees and then creating the foliage associated with each branch separately something like this something like this so this is you know a different technique and what you will have is a different feel for a wooded area in this technique because over here you know you will not just have background foliage but essentially you know you will have a sense of you know foliage that is coming out from different branches so something like this over here and then you know we can simply keep on you know going and adding more trees and what happens is at some point you know it starts to get a bit crowded then you know simply draw what you can in between the existing twigs so for example you know if you have a uh, existing branch like this then you know draw another branch and leave a bit of discontinuity so you now i've explained this in another demonstration is that you know don't cross it completely but when they're intersecting leave a bit of white around that branch in the front so the solid branch you know indicates that it is in the front so again you know if you have a solid branch like this and then if you want to have a branch that goes behind it then leave a bit of white along its edges so that discontinuity you know helps to kind of establish the relative order of the branches so you do that and then essentially you know simply just add more tapered branches and add more foliage to those branches something like this so essentially you know what we are doing over here so you know define these trees and you know and their branch structure and then add foliage to those branches to give a feel for you know uh, foliage associated with those branches so, so this is different from you know where we just drew a kind of foliage in the background and again over here if i want you know i can again add a small branch and then add a foliage 
over here, something like this. So this is, you know, quite different. This is also very fun, very organic because essentially what you're doing is simply, you know, drawing these uh, trees and, you know, using the solid dark to essentially define the branch structure and then just adding the foliage to this. So this is again a very simple organic drawing. But in the end, you know, the effect is different from the you know, previous demonstration for the wooded area we saw. And you know, it's, 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 it's also a very organic drawing that you, know, you can simply evolve. You know, essentially you can just draw any kind of branch structure that you like. And any, 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 any drawing that you do will be different from any previous one because you know, every time that you, you know, start by adding different branches you know, and, and defining the structure, you know, it will be different. So there we have it. So now you can already see that you know, you're getting a feel for the wooded area. And all we are doing simply is again, you know, you draw a tapered line to draw a main trunk and then essentially if you want you know just draw some kind of branch and then add foliage to that branch over here something like this and in the end if you want you know you can have a small you know twigs and have you know foliage from those twigs as well something like this over here so this is different because now you can see that the foliage is associated with you know particular branches and twigs and this is a different feel from you know this kind of drawing you know where what we have is an overall feel for background foliage and some kind of you know, twigs and other branches you know that that, that that are present in the scene as well so this is a different feel and again this is i, I like it because you know this is this, this presents a kind of you know nice open airy feel to our wooded area so we'll just continue you know just add more and at the end you know when you reach this dense area we, you can just simply add a branch as such so you don't really have to kind of you know have any so you know just simply over here you know add a branch and then you know something like this and then simply add a foliage so something like this so this is this is very fun organic you know you simply at the end you know over here so you know over here for example there is white and you know, just add a small twig and then add a foliage over to it as well so again you know the technique is very simple you know to draw the branch you use a solid tapered line this is something like a tapered line and then you add foliage to it you know something like this over here and again you know use sh some shapes like these for the foliage something like you know this shape for the foliage so do not use you know a round circle or anything like you know this but more of a like kind of elongated so as you can see you know i'm using more of an elongated shape you know something like this so this is a typical shape of a foliage right so add you know foliage in that shape something like this over here so for example for over here you know so this is the kind of you know shape of the foliage that will be you know much more plausible and uh, you know it will look nicer so that's what i did so i just added in a foliage over there as well and this so this is how it is you know simply add a bit of twig hair here you know a bit of twig you know so air for example you know i can add, extend this small twig or a side branch and then add a foliage to it over here something like this you know so over from from this trunk i can again you know add this kind of branch and then add foliage and again you can see that the shape of the foliage is something like this you know a bit organic shape and again you know you can always extend and just always remember that you know if you have a main branch from which you're having a side branch then the thickness of the main branch over here should be thicker you know it should be bigger than the side branch over here something like this so over here you know this is quite thick so if i want i can make it a bit more thicker so always make sure that you know the side branch that is going from the main branch is, is smaller than the main branch itself at the point of intersection around about here so that is more plausible so over here you know so this is fine because my side branch is much thinner than the main branch over here so you need to make sure that the side branches you know are thinner than the main branch at the point of intersection because you know again this main branch has to be able to take the weight of the side branch you know? so you need to make sure that that their relative size uh, looks plausible so something like this over here so this is how it is you know so you, again you know over here you can add you know a, a branch over here and uh, another branch over here something like this and at the base you know if you want you can just have the branch structure over here so you don't really have to have the foliage over here or if you want you know again add a bit of you know trunk over here and then add some foliage as well Essentially, you know, compared to the last drawings, you know, where we drew a wooded area, the main difference in this approach is that, you know, we essentially draw the branch structure and then associate the foliage with that branch. So this way, you know, our foliage is much more defined as such. So we don't really have a just backdrop of foliage, but more like, you know, a kind of foliage that is associated with particular branches and twigs. And that is giving a different feel, you know, to this wooded area, for example, over here. And what you can also do is, again, you know, add a bit more, you know, branches over here, something like this to give it a nice feel for. And again, you know, the thing is, you do all those uh, main trunks don't really have to have their branches defined as such. You just simply add a, a trunk over here. And then over here, you can just simply add, you know, some twigs over here, some twigs over there and essentially you know it will the overall at the end you know it will start to look like an wooded area and you know you can have a kind of you know a nice density of branches and twigs at the top that you know shows that they are coming from these twig uh, these trunks at the base so something like this right and over here again i can add one over here so this is a different approach right so over here you know we literally are drawing these individual trees and they're there branch structure and then adding the foliage to those branches and having you know a kind of feel for the wooded area come about and also what i'm doing is you can also uh, use a different uh, size for the trunks to make it more interesting right so you can have a very thin trunk a tapered trunk something like this you know 
and then over here you can again you know have it very a thin trunk over there as well so it's so, so something like this you know and if you want at the end you can always add a bit of foliage here and there so, so this is you know uh, you can always add a bit of background foliage like i'm adding over here between the trunks but the main thing in this technique is that the foliage is being associated with the different trunks you know that uh, sorry not trunk the different branches and the twigs that you see over here so that's the main difference so we don't really have any kind of as such just the background foliage you know that we saw in other demonstrations there we have it and again you know i just drew a trunk and if i want you know i can again add a bit of more foliage over here for this side branch something like this something like this and then again you know i can simply again add one more trunk over here. this is again you know very fun organic you know so i just simply draw you know so to draw the structure of a you know tree simply again you know, draw your base trunk and then something along the side something over here something like this so this is quite fun organic you know something like this so there you have kind of you know uh, a tree and if you want you know just extend it a bit over here and something like this and then then add you know foliage to the structure and then you will have something like this over here so as you, you know add more uh, trunks and as you add more branches and you know as you add, add foliage you know it will start to acquire a nice feel for a kind of you know a wooded area over here and something like this so this is a different approach and this is also a fun approach uh, <clears throat> different from you know the the last technique where we had a lot of background foliage over here you know we have a lot of lot more trunks and a lot more uh, branches and twigs and foliage you know associated with them again over here i will add a bit more over here something over here so it's again you know very fun very organic drawing and it gives a different feel in the end you know for the wooded area and what you can do in the end is to just use a uh, angular parallel lines to give a feel overall feel for the wooded area so what happens is that you know you have white at the edges over here and that takes away the feel of the wooded area as such because you know it is a, you know the wooded area will be a bit darker so what you can do is essentially use these parallel lines in the end something like this to define the boundary as such or essentially indicate that there is more woods behind this so you know you, you know, so sometimes you know if you have a you know a piece of paper or you know if you have the boundary defined then you can draw this kind of wooded area in that space but if you want to leave it open then what you can do is essentially use these parallel lines something like this to essentially indicate that there are you know more woods behind this you know these woods that we have drawn and you can even do it in between so something like this so i'm even drawing in between and what this is doing is giving a nice sense of the overall wooded area so now you can feel that you know this these trees are in the front they are the main focus of our drawing but there's something else in the back background as well so that really you know gives it a nice overall feel and then again you know over here you can add this as well so what i'm doing over here is you know there's white in between the trunk but i'm not filling it with foliage but i'm just using this parallel lines to kind of fill that space and essentially give a nice you know nice indication that there is more woods you know behind this trees that are our center of you know attention so it's something like this so there we have it you know so these uh, parallel lines are very effective at you know we have seen them used for the background foliage a lot right so these parallel lines are very effective at you know indicating a backdrop of uh, foliage or trees or something you know so it indicates a nice kind of backdrop that there is something else out there so it provides a kind of canvas a, you know of a forest and then what we do essentially is to you know draw these trees that you know become our center of attraction as such so that's what we did right so we started by drawing you know these wood you know this this kind of trunk and branch structure and then you know drawing this foliage associated with the branch and that gives us a nice feel for the wooded area and then we drew this kind of use this parallel lines to essentially establish the backdrop and finally if you want you know you still have some white space left in between so if you want you can you know add more of these parallel lines in between or you can you know if you want you can simply again you know add a bit of dot to have some kind of foliage you know so essentially you know this is the foliage that is not associated with the specific branch as such but you know we are just over here i'm just even using dots just to kind of you know take away that white so i could have used the parallel lines but since the space is very less i simply use a dot to kind of take away that white to give a feel for the wooded area as such something like this something like this so there we have it so this is how you know you can have a different feel for a wooded area right and if you want you can make it more dense you know over here i don't really have a bigger a big density of branches and and uh, foliage and such but yeah if you want you know you can, you can go ahead and you know have a lot more branches and a lot more twigs and you know create foliage associated with it but again the main difference in this approach versus you know the other approach that we saw earlier over here you know we just drew the background foliage and essentially the branches you know they were kind of you know defined uh, as such and then we you know we drew this kind of foliage you know 
behind it or kind of, you know, drop, we drew the foliage to show that there is some foliage in front of the branch and some behind. But over here, what we have done is, you know, essentially, you know, taken a different approach where we have drawn the, you know, branch structure of a tree and then essentially, you know, just added a bit of foliage at the end of the branches, you know, something like this to give it a nice feel. So essentially, you know, the, the definition of tree is much more dominant over here. So the trees, you know, have a very clear definition of branches and twigs and, you know, and the foliage associated with it. So it's giving a different feel for a wooded area. And once you have that, you know, you can always come back and just, you know, add a bit of foliage over here, a bit of foliage over there, just to kind of, you know, take away the white spot. So just add a bit of dot over here, a bit of dot over there. Or if you want, you can even use this kind of angular line just to, you know, darken the backdrop. So something like this. And finally, what I will do is to, again, you know, just give it the ground uh, a bit more definition. So again, you know, I use these kind of lines to define the ground form. And then I will go ahead and add some kind of... Uh, ground cover on it so again you know for the ground cover we just simply use this some this kind of grass over here something like this so i will go ahead and add this grass over here and you know this gives us a nice kind of you know path for our eyes to follow to get to the wooded area so it's always good to have you know some kind of ground definition uh, that kind of you know, complements your main focus area so this is the main focus area but you know just having this ground leads our eyes to that main focus area so it's always good to add that kind of path in your drawing so that our eyes can lead to the main focus area so over here i'm just simply using this kind of grass you know but in other demonstrations we have seen that you know you can use wildflowers you can use a lot of different other types of you know ground cover to create more interesting ground so i won't really cover that in detail but essentially yeah you know, just use a simple grass stroke to create a very basic you know ground cover and a basic ground definition that you know that our eyes can follow to get to the main you know wooded area that is the center of attraction in this drawing so something like this over here and then I'll just add a bit more grass just to complete, you know, since we have the ground line defined. So essentially, you know, in the ground line, leave a bit of this white. So, you know, as we saw before, you know, when you leave this bit of this white, you know, that white becomes a kind of, you know, path that our eyes can follow. So I always like to kind of, you know, have something like this in my drawings, you know, something that complements the, our wooded area, something like this. So there we have it, right? So essentially, and then what you can do also, you can see there's a bit of white over here. And that white, again, what happens is that if you have any wooded area, that white, you know, interferes with that giving a nice sense of wooded area. So again, you know, either I can add a bit of foliage again, or I can simply again use these parallel lines to again take away that white, something like this, you know, so take away that white. So again, you know, these parallel lines, these angular parallel lines are very effective at giving it overall sense of, you know, wooded area, a feel over the wooded area. And then what we did, in this demonstration is to also you know, define these trees. So essentially again, you know, when you're defining the tree, you know, create a main trunk like this. So draw a tapered line and then add a jacket dark darkness, something like this. And then finally, once you have it, you know, then just draw one branch, side branch over here. Again, so this is very organic, so something like this and something like this and something like this. So again, you know, this is something that, you know, that's totally up to you just to, you know, experiment and, you know, add these branches. And once you add a branch, you know, something like this, then you can add the foliage at the end. Again, and, and for the foliage, you know, use shapes like this, right? Something like this. So as you can see, you know, I've used those organic shapes. And then there you have it, right? So just by adding, you know, these simple trees and adding, you know, foliage to their branches, you know, gives us a nice feel for a wooded area. And then what we also did was to kind of complement this by adding this background of the parallel lines. So, so that gives us a bit more sense of, you know, a, a feel for the wooded uh, area, something like this. So again, so this is different, you know, at the end, if you want, you can go ahead and add a bit more, you know, foliage with the branches. So again, you know, so this is different because now you can feel that the foliage is associated with branches and twigs, you know, much more than the other uh, demonstration we did, you know, where we just drew the background foliage as such, right? So in that demonstration, you know, we had a different feel for the wooded area. And in this demonstration, I wanted to show you again, you know, a different technique for drawing a wooded area. And I really like these drawings because at least for me, you know, these are real fun to do, right? So some, you know, whenever I have 10, 15 minutes, I just like to sit and, you know, kind of, you know, draw these simple trees, you know, something like this, and then just add, you know, a bit of, you know, foliage here, a bit of foliage there, and then end up with, you know, something like this. So just to give you again an example over here, if I want to add a tree, I will again create a tapered line. So this is my trunk, then add, you know, some line over here, that is my side branch, something like this, and then add a bit of foliage to my side branch. So there you have it, right? So this is how you can easily extend you know these, these kind of drawings and uh, essentially kind of just have them in a very organic evolving manner and that's real fun because you know when you're drawing and uh, using you know your 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 time you know, to essentially create something you know be more creative then this is this is real fun because this is something that just evolves you know as you play along with this so it's a very fun you know evolving 
composition you know, that that will be different and you know, every time you do it because you know you will have a different feel for the uh, you know for the trunks and the and the branch structure and even the way you add foliage right so you can have a foliage in something like this or you can use you know loops so again you can use you know different techniques or different strokes for your foliage and that will have a different feel in the end as well and finally what we have seen in other demonstration is that if you want you can make the base a bit darker right so again just use these parallel lines to add a bit of darkness to the base and that always you know also adds more interest because the bottom the area close to the ground is always uh, thicker you know with other small plants and shrubbery and what have you so it's always good to make it bit you know bit dark so that contrasts nicely with the lighter top and again to make it dark i'll just add you know this small line something like this right so again i'll just add a bit more something like this so you can if you want you can you know darken the base using these angular lines as well as we have seen in other demonstrations when we darken the base of the distant foliage or you can simply use you know, this kind of parallel line something like this something like this you know so again you know just darkening the base a bit again you know do not darken it uniformly so never you know make it a very uniform darkness but what you're doing is you know simply adding a bit here simply adding a bit there right so something adding a bit here adding a bit there so this you know this feels a bit of an organic uh, dark so so again you know the, the key point in making any landscape believable is to keep all the shapes organic you know any any dark that you're adding it should be done you know using this kind of stroke so what happens is you know this this stroke adds a dark in an organic manner so again you know when if you just move it like this and that you know gives a concentrated dark whereas you know using this kind of stroke you know something like this this adds the dark in an organic manner so that actually adds to the overall sense of you know volume because when you have your darks you know in, in a bit organic manner so also so yes always use that kind of stroke so over here you know i will add more dark so what happens is when you darken and when you even get that the the definition of your trunk might be lost you know behind the dark but still our eyes can make out that that's a trunk so that's a that's a fun thing is that you know even if you make the base darker you know that the trunk might not be that clear but still you know since because it goes up and you know you're some still some definition of the trunk you know it's still our our mind can make it out so i'll just add a bit more dark over here something like this so you can see you know at least i like darkening the base because you know it gives a nice sense of you know wooded you know wooded feel because you know your the base of the wooded area is always dark you know it receives less sun and also has you know other growth that gives it a bit darker feel so there we have it right so i just darken the base and and this is a nice you know sense of wooded area that you know we have and again to recap you know what we did essentially is to start by drawing you know this adding you know these trees and then you know we drew their branch structures something like this and this is again very fun organic you know you can play around with it add something like this so and essentially you draw a simple tree like this you know and then essentially you know you just add foliage to it right and you add foliage to the end of these you know, main branches or any kind of side branches and stuff like that so essentially you know you're drawing a small you know a tree and uh, we in other demonstration we saw in detail how to do this as well and what you do is you just keep adding more and more and when you add you know the, another uh, tree for example you know just go in between and add a bit of foliage here add a bit of foliage there something like this right and soon you know you will start to have a kind of feel for a wooded area something like this so that's again you know, a nice fun drawing you know a nice a different technique to draw a wooded area that you can try anytime and, and have fun doing it thanks bye bye